Hello, producer Christopher Wateki here with some exciting news. Your birthday is right around the corner, and this year is the Taurus year of fortune. Now, if you don't know, here's your first piece of fortune. I will give you a 90-minute reading for the price of one hour during your birthday period, and we're advertising early this year because people couldn't get their readings in time for their birthday. So if you're interested, come on down. I'll give you more information at livelovebee.tv or email us at readings at soulgarden.tv. Happy birthday. Hello Taurus and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. Well, it is sunny, chance of irritability, but probably hardworking and productive nonetheless for the bulls. The moon is in Gemini, so that puts emotional context out there with manifestation, productivity, abundance. You are being a Taurus in a true Taurus sense. So you're emotionally very empowered and fueled by wanting to get things done. And you can. You might be a little impatient though with wanting to get things done, and you might be a little oversensitive to your bank account or your productivity. So just putting that out there. Really the irritability comes from the Sun. We're in chapter 2 of Sun and Aries, so wrapping up chapter 2 this weekend. Mars rules the day. Mars is aggressive masculine testosterone energy that is on top of Aries, which is the core of masculine testosterone. There's a lot of Mar Martian energy on the planet. This is all focusing on Tauruses and your subconscious. So if you have ignored all of your weeds up until now, which I think is almost impossible to do. You could slip, you could have a breakdown, there could be a major breaking down. But that Martian energy is here to help you move forward, to step toward your faith, to take the action necessary for you to have faith in yourself. So maybe you need to quit a bad behavior. Maybe you need to start a new behavior. Maybe you need to walk away from a bad situation. But Mars says, do it now. And you're not going to have total clarity on where you have faith in yourself or not, or where you stand with the weed or not. Because Mercury's retrograde, and Mercury's going to cross back over the sun through the weekend. So you'll be like, oh, maybe it's my drinking, or maybe it's my sleep habits, or maybe it's my ex-wife, or maybe it's this. You're going to go back and forth. That's okay. Mercury retrograde's all about looking at it differently from the inside out, seeing things we normally don't look at or we uh, scan over. So that's okay. But if you are clear on where to act, something that will lead to greater faith in yourself, do it, says Mars. And astro gossip. I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is DJ David Palmer has just taken a lucrative position on another TV station or another TV network. Well, I can't say too much. I'm going to be quiet right now. He got a promotion, okay? The boy's going to be on TV soon and we're super excited. The bad news is I need a new Astro Gossip co-host. I am now casting. If you live in the LA area, if you are interested in astrology or an astrologer, if you've got a sense of humor, if you're camera friendly, if you're easy on the eyes, email me. We're looking for a new co-host here and we'll get the ball rolling as soon as we find that person. All right, Taurus, that's all I have for your weekend forecast. Now, things probably space out on Saturday night, just so you know. You're going to be real chatty or real pensive, but when the moon moves into Cancer, you're definitely going to get a lot more detached and pensive, and probably Sunday, a cloudy, pensive day. But when we come back on Monday, we're going to get started now with that new faith. So until then, live, love, be. So God.